Our world has fallen to fade, its great works long since complete, its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Dust, dust, arise. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. <sighs> Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget! Guardian of the sword! I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Ah... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust. And he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidgets, then? That's me. And you're... Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. No offense, but aren't you a bit... well... small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> that happens sometimes. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. 
I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's... Uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. Yourself, Bridget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! Whoa. Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them.
gold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the Dust Storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the Super Ballistic Fidget Action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. my power, it will use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. I did? It feels good. Great, even. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen through the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful.
Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging me sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. Many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business?
Before you leave, might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. wild guess and say we need four keys. There. 
Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Aw, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <clears throat> ah, it's another one of those spiky slime things! Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, Put this beast out of its misery. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet! But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So, we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes. It's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Proving yourself a worthy swords master, and none too soon. Bah! They weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. 
You know, if I had to. And that's was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <sighs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey! Who are you calling weak? We're still a little shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. <laughs> My leg still hurts. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few monsters on the way in, but you never know when they'll be back. Did one of those monsters hurt you? Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. I was running to get help! Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. What, you got a little army hiding in there? Maybe I should go. Oh, no. Please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my husband, even if he is a coward. Bah! Oh, by yourself. Right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Calum here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains! You know, gold, silver, um... Mingonite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Thanks so much for your help. Please, make yourselves at home. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. That's an interesting 
interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? He can see everything. It's spooky, really. No reason to get defensive. Just trying to help. Prospectors, Fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Why, hello there. I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally, but this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Yes? Uh, good morning? Hmm. Is it though? I... well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about! Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh... are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... 
I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Hi there. Well, hello. Uh... You're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, uh, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Coming in, I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. 
Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. If you find Corbin, please... Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Good day, I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, 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 you hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. 
I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little boring concept called compassion. From brand of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I'd need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram. You've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Hey! You're the outsider! Yeah, that's me. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. That isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company!
should have saved first. Bloms, deadly creatures. Keep your distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at them. I am here to serve. Your transaction is most appreciated. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend.
Whoa, uh, hello there. <laughs> Easy there, Chief. Everyone, calm down, please. So, you were the ones making all that noise up there. Uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? <laughs> oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you two this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. <laughs> Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for you. Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. Makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well... My dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem. So check for Blue Resonance Gates in Abadi's Forest. Need anything else? Need anything else? So, let's talk. I notice it's only you and Maddie up here in the pass. Is it just you two? Not all the time, no. My father still runs the forge, but he's usually away on business. Right now, he's somewhere across the sea, hunting down new minerals and ores. He's always trying to make better weapons and armor. Sounds like he's always pretty busy. Yeah, but I get along fine by myself. And Maddie too, of course. I meant to ask before, does Maddie have a problem with me? What? Well, it's just... He seems to grumble a lot around me. I can attest to that. Lots of grumbling. I really can't say, Dust. Maddie, do you have anything to say? <laughs> well, I hope that answers your question. Uh, not really, but... Let it go, Dust. Just let it go. So, is blacksmithing the official family trade, then? In a way, I guess. My father said I could be whatever I wanted, but when you grow up alongside a world-famous blacksmith, your options are fairly limited. Not that I mind, though. It's nice to have skills that are in demand these days. Everybody always needs something forged, whether it's amulets or armor. So, business is good? <sighs> it's... well, it's been better. Still, we make enough to keep things going, and that's the important thing. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. It was built during the Battle of Archers Pass many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here, but they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take Archer's Pass, and from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so... Location, location, location. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. 
I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you could move this place no problem. Uh, Fidgets, I don't think that'd help. You know, smart mutant rats with magic! Don't worry about her dust. Altitude sickness. Drive some creatures crazy. Fidget was pretty crazy before. Maybe we should be on our way. Need anything else? Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. Hi there, Maddie. Nice to meet you. All right, then. That went incredibly well. Do you know why? I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. It's because she likes you. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind. Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. 
You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white residence gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a place in the leafy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... Boo! Boo, I say! You're no fun, Dust. No fun at all.
to serve. Transact. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Huh! I laugh! Laugh at the dark! Actually, I'm afraid of heights. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time, everywhere. Oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget.
I am here to serve. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. calling from from beyond the grave ah, demon blacksmith that's the worst kind of blacksmith <laughs> would you calm down i'm at home with maddie i see you found my dad's lost receiver yeah and it seems to be working that's great now if you ever need to craft an item you can do it directly from your inventory now dust this doesn't mean I don't want you coming up to visit me in person. 
But at least I can keep an eye on you and help you out whenever you need me. Sure, Haley. I really appreciate the help. be getting close how can you tell look we may still be able to save the others let's hurry Take care. Even the greatest of swordsmen cannot maintain the dust storm for that long. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll try to be more careful. Keep an eye on your color. If you start turning red and the screen begins to shake, you're close to losing it.
recently. We don't have time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. to serve. Transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. I don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Ara? Such... hatred. Be careful, Dust. So, 
You've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious! Now die! <laughs> to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius.
were studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Hmm. More monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no please in some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you saved. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me?
Please, let me... I'll keep my... Much appreciated. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself... Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not... personal. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. You're welcome, Corbin. And just be a little smarter next time, all right? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, Fidget. Like the laundry. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I... You're so strong? I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000-hit combo! <laughs> of course he wouldn't! He could do it in his sleep! Sleep combo! Fidgets, calm down! Whoa! Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000-hit combo? Sure, why not? Oh, wow! Awesome! Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, This one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. I'd love it if you could do a 1,000 hit combo. That'd be so cool! Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. Welcome back. You honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends, your rich ones. Oh, 
Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a Moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers, and that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you are leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius's bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. 
You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness! She must be alive! She must have escaped! Please, let me see it! What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient type and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he alright? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, ha, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. Ah, Dust! Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's that obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Guillen and Oneida.
This is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Well, um, we did save your life, remember? Yes. Well, I meant aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guyan. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters inside it? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except... Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. Seems our village has got itself a new basement. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustin, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all.
end of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's gotta be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. I don't see anything, Fidget. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our kind isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. I'm starting to regret coming down here. I was regretting it minutes ago. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Do you think the villagers know about this place? Our search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area.
Dust, wait. This creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. We'll see about that. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Attack and hold X at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their move, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. A successful parry may daze your opponent, and will fully restore your energy meter. You will be unable to harm certain enemies unless they are dazed. This is one such creature. Exercise patience and observe your opponent's pattern, and you will emerge victorious. Sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. Wait! <laughs> Let's follow him. Thank you. 
So, you have slain the one known as Fuse. I had no choice. He'd lost his minds, murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods, they are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. Transaction is most appreciated.
Bridget, is something wrong? <laughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, she will be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. You mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. Really awful. Not sure how I'll get by. <laughs> There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Your transaction is most watch your On little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. This battle will be over before it begins. Yeah. <sighs> what 
What is this? You've been poisoned. When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough. Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. And there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. Monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. There he is! Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah! Mama, look! Those things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, 
and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. I had you pegged all wrong, stranger. Please, talk to the lady. See if you can get our waters flowing again. You'll save my pa, won't you? Please, Dust. You gotta help him. He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Ooh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What, me? It's a flying cat! <sighs> she's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, uh, what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! Hmm, tell you what, next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew, good idea, Dust. You know that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the lady's chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait. Your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Hey! 
Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless, forever. I'm sorry. Look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mud Pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Pope Pop. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Transaction is most appreciated. Thank you. Just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah. What? Okay, Ben.
can get back at that good-for-nothing trolk that done busted up my leg! Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor! And revenge! And hitting things with sticks! Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolks for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers! Four of them! No, 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 forty! No, four hundred! My broken leg demands justice! How about I gather four Trolk Fingers, just for you? Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy! Get them Trolks, boy! This makes a good heap and plate of Blop-inspired justice with a side of... a side of beans! Cause beans are delicious when you pair them with justice! Ha! <laughs> yeah!
your trans...
悩み Your transaction is most. Dust, and this is Fidget. We came from mud pots seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys. And you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should dial it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions. Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? I would question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands, spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys. And I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius's campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! Slipping from her soul dust. 
We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I... I succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes! I only hope it's not too late. Indeed, though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius and his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on our way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general guise. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented. Like a shattered mirror, I can only see reflections in the broken pieces. And what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within you, Dust. How a living creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What? What have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. You have my thanks, Dust. Please, hurry back to Mudpot. parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes, even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. <laughs> We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you the 
I get the water running again? Bobo, darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. And it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're Dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. 
you'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Oh? I promise. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We found some clumps of red moss for you. Oh my, yes. These are lovely. They'll last me for quite a while. Here, why don't you stay for a while and have some soup? Guaranteed to be the best soup you've ever had. Ah, uh, I appreciate the offer, but we're kind of in a rush. So we'll take it to go. That's a great idea. All right, here you go. Enjoy now. Thank you, Flohop. Take care. Here you go, Blop. Four Trolk Fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. That's assuming I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures. And if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. While I'm sitting. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. You said it, Fidget. All right, Blop, I'll get you some teeth. I would love me some teeth. I would love me some teeth. I'm missing out on a whole lot of chewing. Thank <laughs> you. 
did your best, Dust, and for that I am grateful. We'll manage somehow. We always do. found your sheep, Gappy. They didn't seem too concerned about being lost. I honestly have no idea how you carried those things around with you. Thank you, son. You're good people. Here, have some wool from my flock. Trust me, this is prized stuff. You're doing good in this world, son. Folks like you are always welcome here in Mud Park. flowing. It would be ignorant of me to believe you didn't have a part in that. What makes you say that? The waters did not resume flowing of their own accord. Of that, I am certain. Yes, well, we did what needed to be done. As must we all, my friend. What did you find down there, if you don't mind my asking? A powerful creature who was misled by her own rage. Fortunately, we were able to knock some sense into her. And for that, this world is grateful. Take care, my friend. is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend.
General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. Here's ten rockhound teeth, Blop. I'm sure your new teeth will be the talk of the town. I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blop he can't eat corn no more. <laughs>